Hello, good morning friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel Code One Digest. Today in this video we will discuss what is a strategy design pattern. Where to use a strategy design pattern in our project. I will also show the Java code implementation of strategy design pattern. And at the end we will discuss the benefit of a strategy design pattern. So stay tuned till the end of the video. We'll have a lot of exciting discussion on this. Friends, in the previous video, we discussed about state design pattern. Can you explain what is a state design pattern and how to use it? Please reply your answer in the comment section. And if you have not seen that previous video, I recommend you to go and see that video. A state design pattern is a very important design pattern. You must know what is a state design pattern. The link of that video is provided on your screen and also provided in the description section. Just to recall, what is a state design pattern? The state design pattern lets an object alter its behavior when its internal state changes. So, for the more information, please go and see previous video. Friends, before we proceed in this video, I want you to subscribe my channel to grow Code One Digest family. Friends, I am creating a lot of quality contents for you, but I am not getting subscribers. I want you to like, share and subscribe my channel so that I can grow Code One Digest family. Thank you. Okay friends, now let's start with strategy design pattern. What is a strategy design pattern? A strategy design pattern lets you define a family of algorithm put each of them into a separate class and make their objects interchangeable. Strategy pattern, also known as policy pattern, is a software design pattern that enables an algorithm behavior to be selected at runtime. The strategy pattern consists of number of related algorithm encapsulated in a driver class called the context. Your client program can select one of those different algorithms or in some cases the context might select the best one for you. The strategy pattern are nothing but an encapsulation of all those algorithms inside a context class. This pattern is useful when you want to decide on runtime which algorithm to be used. In a strategy pattern, we create objects which represent the various strategies and a context object whose behavior varies as per the strategy selected. The strategy object changes the executing algorithm of context object. This is also example of open close principle, which makes sure that code is open for extension but closed for modification. Example, if you want to add a new functionality, you can add by adding a new algorithm without touching an existing code. Right? Let's understand a strategy design pattern with a real world example. Imagine you want to go to airport and you can catch a bus, order a cab, or you can go by bicycle. These are your transportation strategies. You can pick one of the strategy depending on your factors such as budget or time constraints, etc. Let's take another example of strategy design pattern. Let's say you decide to create a navigation app for a casual travelers. An important feature for an app was automatic route planning. A user should be able to enter an address and see the fastest route to the destination on a map. The first version of the app build routes only for the car. Then later you plan to add a route building for the cyclist. And in the third release, you want to add option for walking routes. Though from business perspective, the app is successful, but from technical side, it may be a headache. Each time you add a new route algorithm, the main class of navigator doubled its size. At the same point, that code become too hard to maintain. Problem. So the solution to this problem of explosion is a strategy pattern. The strategy pattern suggests that you take class 
that does something specific and extract all of those algorithms into a separate classes called strategies. The original class called context must have a field for storing a reference to one of the strategies. The context delegates the work to a linked strategy object instead of executing its own. The context is not responsible for selecting an appropriate algorithm for a job. Instead, the client passes the desired strategy to the context. The context works with all the strategies because all strategies are derived from the same interface. In this step, you can add new algorithm or modify existing one without changing the code of context or other strategies. Friends, now let me show you an implementation of strategy design pattern. I have prepared a code for strategy design pattern and I'll walk you through the code first and then I'll run the code and show you the demo of strategy design pattern. Friends, this code is also available in my GitHub repository. You can download the code and play with it. The link of my GitHub repository is shown on your screen and also available in the description section of this video. Okay, let me show you what I have done in this strategy design pattern. I have a package strategy where I have all the class for strategy design pattern and I have defined a class strategy. So I'm taking an example of let's say calculator where I am taking two numbers as an input and I may have a different strategy of addition, subtraction, multiplication or division and so on. So this is my abstract class, class strategy where I'm defining a method calculate and it just take two numbers. Now I can have an implementation, various implementation of this strategy. So one is add strategy where I am implementing that method uh, for these two numbers I am doing addition because it is a add strategy. Then I am same way I have a minus strategy where I am subtracting these two numbers a minus b. The same way I can have a multiplication strategy, division strategy and so on. So all those strategies we can define. These are algorithms. Now I have a calculator class where I am taking two numbers as an input, right? And then I am also having a strategy object here. I am setting that strategy object here using this method. And finally, I have a calculate method where I have to calculate for these two numbers whatever the input numbers are provided to me, I have to perform operation on this two number in this calculate method. But in this calculate method, I'm not doing direct operation on this number. Rather, I am calling the calculate method of my strategy on these two numbers. And this strategy can change at runtime. It can become addition, it can become subtraction, it can become multiplication, or it can become division or and so on. So this is the beauty of a strategy pattern. At runtime, you can choose the algorithm that you want. Let us see what and how our test class look like. So in this test class, I have defined an instance of calculator and I'm initializing those two input numbers here. I'm providing these two numbers as an input, 10 and five. My number one is 10 and number two is five. I'm printing it here, those two input numbers. Then I'm also passing a strategy. Okay, first I want to perform calculation using addition strategy. So I'm setting that addition strategy and then I'm calling calculator.calculate. So here when I'm calling calculator.calculate internally it will call calculate method of that strategy whatever we are passing here. So it will call the calculate method of addition. So it will do the addition of these two numbers and print the result at this line. Now next time I am changing the strategy and setting it to minus strategy and again calling a calculate method. Then now the algorithm minus algorithm will work on the same input and give me the result and I'll print it here. Let me run it and show you that. Yeah, so my input numbers are 10 and my input number is 5. 
so this to our input so first i am calling the addition strategy where this two number got added and second time i call the sec minus strategy where this two number got subtracted so 10 minus 5 is 5 so likewise you can have a multiple implementation of your algorithm you can have multiplication subtraction modulus or and so on in your project you can decide in your scenario if you have multiple different algorithms you can implement that and having a common interface so that you can switch between those algorithms as a runtime so friends when do you think you can use a strategy design pattern you can use a strategy design pattern when you want to use different variant of an algorithm within an object and be able to switch from one algorithm to another one at runtime use a strategy pattern when you have a lot of similar classes that only differ in the way they executes use the pattern to isolate the business logic of a class from the implementation detail of algorithm that may not be as important in the context of that logic Use the pattern when your classes have a massive conditional statement that switches between a different variant of the same algorithm. So what benefit do you get from a strategy design pattern? You can swap algorithms used inside an object at runtime. It supports open close principle that is your code is open for extension but closed for modification. You can isolate the implementation detail of an algorithm from the code that uses it you can replace inheritance with the composition okay friends let me summarize what we learned in this video we understood what is a strategy design pattern we saw a real example of a strategy design pattern we also saw java code implementation of a strategy design pattern and we also saw the use cases of a strategy design pattern at the end we discuss the benefits of strategy design pattern so let me know if you have already used this design pattern in any of your project or seen a scenario where this pattern can be useful please reply in the comment section with your answer friends in the next video i'll cover observer design pattern we will learn what is observer design pattern what is the use of observer design pattern and we will also see a java code implementation of observer design pattern we will understand what are the benefits of observer design pattern in a project so stay tuned till the next video comes and please subscribe to the channel friends if you, if you like this video so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for the more interesting videos click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications and do not forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues this is very useful information for students beginners and software engineers i am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents so please help me growing the code one digest family please subscribe to code one digest channel for the latest programming and technology related videos thank you